Hey, what's up? It's Cecily, and it's This Week in Rideshare News. Welcome back, guys. We have a lot to talk about. Please bear with me. We'll get through these items as quick as we can. On Monday, rideshare drivers in both Los Angeles and San Francisco organized as part of a one-day strike in response to wage cuts across California. Organized by Rideshare Drivers United and Gig Workers Rising, thousands of Uber and Lyft drivers refused to turn on their apps and many of them took to the streets in protest. Many drivers say that the wage cuts have been up to 25% and with dwindling bonuses, it's taking longer, more trips to actually make the same amount of money that they made just a few months ago. Like. They also complain that new drivers do get a lot of incentives. And then as you stay on the platform longer, there aren't as many new promotions. I was not able to go to the demonstration, but a good friend of mine, Kevin, the entrepreneur, did go. He live streamed the event and spoke to some people about what was taking place. Check out a snippet of the footage. We are doing a live stream on the streets of Hernando Beach. The best signs to illustrate the problem and the plight of the drivers and my opinion. Fairs for drivers, not for Wall Street. I love that. You come home and make your second job. And it breaks our hearts. Because we're tired. We're cranky. We can't necessarily do the things that we want to do with our families. That's why we're here. This is for our future and our kids' future. If you want to see some of Kevin's footage, I've left a link in the description. Please let him know that we sent you and then we appreciate being able to use the clip. Of course, we all know this is bad timing as Uber and Lyft are rushing to launch their IPOs, but hopefully these kinds of demonstrations create a dialogue between the companies and the drivers so that we can come to a solution that benefits all parties. This past week, Lyft announced what might be an incentive for Uber drivers to become Lyft drivers. They've called it Lyft driver services and it's a suite of services to make driving for Lyft better for you. They're offering a lot of good incentives, guys. The first thing being free banking. There are no fees if you actually use this account and your earnings are immediately available to you. The second thing being discounts on gas and groceries. That is a huge plus. Uh, they are partnering with companies to offer discounts for you, people who use that card. And the third thing that I personally could have used was discounted repair services. Wait, what? In fact, they've said that they'll offer up to 50% discount on your car maintenance, which is unheard of. And if you drive a lot, you are going to need that. Car repairs are so expensive. Car maintenance is so expensive. So this is a really, really great thing for Lyft drivers. They're also planning to expand their express driver locations and offering discounts for rentals, putting more green cars on the market, which means that people are saving on gas. I like where they're going with this and I feel like Lyft is going in the right direction and I'm hoping that Uber will see these things and will offer these things as well because we are using our cars to the max and you need to maintain your car for it to work. Otherwise, they'll break down on you and this is a really great step in the right direction. Our next story is about Daniel Danker. He is the head of product at Uber. He has now become an Uber driver. From the time of this article, he was at 96 rides and at a 4.7 rating. Uh, he says that he takes to the streets every month so that he can look at things from the driver's perspective and report things back to the uh, app team and what have you. Um, this is the second time I've actually seen a Uber uh, corporate employee drive uh, to kind of gain some sort of insight as to what we're doing. And he states that he's really interested in the, the driver experience. My question is, there are so many places where you can get this information. It's very clear. If you wanted to know what the driver was thinking, it's out there. The information is out there. I would love for Uber to rely on the drivers themselves, especially the OGs, the people have been doing it for a long time. I mean, of course, we open it up to the newer drivers and stuff too, because they're kind of coming in at a different angle. They're really new to everything, but it's important to have all of our experience considered when making improvements to the app. I know that Lyft has a driver advisory council and I believe that their program, the the driver services program, was based off of recommendations from that 
council. So um, while I know that they had something like a round table, a panel discussion last year, I mean, you've got to like, you've got to get the data from the drivers that drive. 96 trips is not a lot, guys. You can do 96 trips. It's not that hard. And I don't think it gives you enough experience and enough scenarios to say, hey, oh, this is how this shit works. So while I'm like happy that they're doing this and it's a great little PR piece, at the same time, I'm thinking leverage the driver experience, leverage the drivers who are out here using the app and all kinds of scenarios to, to improve the app. And now for the feel good part of this segment, the first being a Nintendo game about the last rideshare driver a last human rideshare driver on the planet. Isn't this cool? I want to read this to you guys. As one of the last human rideshare drivers in a near future AI driven world, you must choose your passengers and words wisely to learn about their stories and uncover the truth about your own in NeoCab driving onto Nintendo Switch in 2019. I think this is hilarious. I think this is awesome. My question is who wants to be the last human rideshare driver on the planet? I don't, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be the last person hanging in there. Like, oh yeah, I've been doing this for like 20 years. <laughs> the future of rideshare. If you haven't heard rideshare companies are trying to push these autonomous vehicles, know that it's a reality at some point. I don't really play games, but I would play this one. Like this one looks really cool. This is probably my most favorite story of the week. It reads like a novel. I mean, it's kind of like unbelievable. A woman gets picked up by a woman driver and they find that they have a bunch of things in common they're both trini they both are like chocolate they both have the same birthday so the driver starts to offer things for the lady hey by the way you know here's some candy that i got it's for for my birthday you know for your birthday now uh flowers in the in the trunk for for my birthday for your birthday the driver's being all nice to the lady and the lady's like wow like you know you are there's some really good people in the world and as you read the story you're already thinking like What's the catch? Like, why is she giving this stuff away? Like, is did she get kidnapped? What kind of crazy stuff is going to happen to you? Like, are you okay? And then she reveals that the woman is married. And she gave away the stuff that her boyfriend gave her so she wouldn't get caught. Okay, so like for those who didn't get it, she got a boyfriend and a husband. It's hysterical. The way it's written too is awesome. I'm going to include a link to that as well. Uh hot mess guys it's a hot mess but it's a good mess very entertaining if you like this video please give us a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to harry's channel you're seriously missing out so i'm gonna go ahead and wait for you to hit that button right now the red one <laughs> thank you so much this week in rideshare news is a segment where we bring the news from our industry to you. If you have any submissions, any things that I may have missed, please feel free to write them in the comments below or to reach out to me on my Facebook, which is Drive Girl Drive. If you're curious about who I am and what I do on my YouTube channel, you can find me at Drive Girl Drive as well. It's starting to warm up here in Southern California. And although I love talking to you guys, I'm starting to sweat. So I'm going <laughs> to check you guys out later. Have a great weekend. Make lots of money. Lots of money and be safe. Bye.